I cannot believe this. I but know. Beauty DIY trends are all the rage on TikTok, but how safe are they? Here to answer this and with everything you need to know about these trends, family nurse practitioner and aesthetic nurse injector Neha Thengill. And a warning for viewers, some of these photos are a little disturbing. Actually, yeah. the whole trend is disturbing. I saw all these videos on TikTok of women injecting their own faces. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, I mean, this topic is so pivotal because, you know, right now is a time where you see it on social media. You got to do it. You got to have it. Everything on social media is right. People really don't know, you know, when to say no and is it correct and who to trust and who not to trust. But yeah. if it's on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube shorts, you know, it's got to be real. No. Um, we, oh, it's just so, it, and it's really, really sad, right? Because these DIY Botox and filler trends that we're seeing, um, most of the girls are kind of younger, right? Mm -hmm. They're not our mature populations. And think about the people that are watching these things. It's usually the younger generation too at this point. And so um, where are they getting the products from? Is it safe? Do they even know? You know, is it something that should be injected? Yeah, I've even seen some people come up with recipes on things that they yes. can make for themselves to inject an effect. So again, we warned you, some of the pictures that you're about to see are pretty disturbing, but they are real. And this is what can really happen if you Absolutely. actually do it. So let's put up some folks and yeah. pictures and let's tell folks what they are, what they did and and what obviously happened? why it's so wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lord, what Look happened here? You know, okay. so this is a person who had a vessel occluded, right? What's so that they, mean? a vessel is, um, our face is filled with so many arteries and veins. Mm -hmm. And when you inject something like hyaluronic acid, which is a dermal filler into this area right here in the middle of your forehead, if it gets into an artery and it occludes that artery, which means no blood can oh. go through that, it's gonna necro it's gonna kill that tissue. It's gonna become necrotic, and that is a consequence of that. That's an emergency. Yeah. So when you're doing these fillers at home and you have no idea, and you're like, I'm gonna fix this little line I have here. Look at what could happen. And so, if this happens, are you prepared for it? Do you know what to do? So what happened to her face? Does it mean like, is that uh, ever going to heal? So it, and it, it'll heal sometimes, but it's never going to go back. Like those scars are rough. It's, it's yeah. pretty bad. And you have to have a dissolver for hyaluronic acid and it can happen to anyone, the best of us. And there's something called Hylanox and you use that if you occlude that artery. If you are doing it at home and you're not a competent, licensed professional, mm -hmm. what do you do? Right. You just sit there with dying tissue? Well, Ooh. and if you're doing it at home, how do you know the product that you're using is even real? And is it sterile? Where are you getting it from? And the needles, I think, are not right too, correct? Well, a lot of people are reusing insulin needles mm. um, because you can't, if you're not a medical provider, you can't get these supplies. Right. And so what do they end up doing? buying things off the black market. Hey, mm -hmm. um, I know you're so-and-so, it's a diabetic. Um, can I borrow those needles? I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not good. The sterility, the risk of infection, and you know, it's, aesthetics is um, a luxury treatment. Mm -hmm. And with the rise of inflation and the economy slowing down, a lot of times people will say, I don't need to go and spend $300 on this, that, and the other. I'll just do it at home. Quick fix. Quick yeah. fix. And so they buy things off the black market overseas where things are not regulated yes. in access to anyone. Okay. And then you start seeing signs all over the place. Call me. Oh, I can do yes. Botox for $15 or whatever, right? Yeah. Yes. And then you can end up with a situation. Do we have another picture that we can show folks yeah. again? We're warning you now. This well, is this what can happen when you go wrong. I actually sent this picture to Neha because I saw it on Addison yes. at Elston. Uh, advertising Botox for six dollars a unit on a light pole. Oh man! And, and Over this the, is it's questionable, pole, right? Yeah. And so, first of all, that's not even the cost of the product. So, where are they getting this from, and how are you able to offer this medication? Because that's what it is for such a low price. Right. Where are you getting it from? You could have, you could be the biggest mess spa in Chicago. I don't care. You can talk to a hundred providers. No one's offering it for six dollars a unit, and they're just not. So the people that go there, you take the risk. Mm -hmm. Is it real product? What are they using? Is it supposed to be injected? Is it regulated? You yeah. know, and in United States is one of those things where you can't really bring back products from overseas. But like UK and things, a lot of procedures are not regulated. Right. So people, you know, can anyone can do it. An esthetician can do it. In Illinois, you cannot be an esthetician injecting Botox and fillers. You need to be a licensed medical professional, a physician, a PA, an NP, a nurse, overseen by someone. Mm. Yeah. How do you know you're getting someone who actually yes. knows what they're doing? You have to ask for certifications. Ask questions. You're spending all this money. Say, 
you know, what kind of, what's your licensing? Are you a nurse? Are you an MD? Are you an NP? Um, what are your credentials? Are you equipped to handle a, you know, circumstance if it were to arise in the mm -hmm. office? If you occlude my vessel, what do you have here? Ask questions. Because if they don't have the right answers, it's time to Move get up on. and leave. Yeah. Oh, okay. gosh, so, so many crazy. questions we could yes. ask you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Neha, thank you for the heads up. Yes. Yes. Oh, absolutely. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks for having me. Uh, if you'd like to check out more of Neha, she's got before and after pictures on social media, so you can see her social media handles there. And that's the three locations you can find her working out of if you want to get some work done yourself with the licensed professional. Yes.